Ada for telling my SIL she's not as selfless of a mom as my wife? 41M, husband, and dad to two little girls, 10F and 5F. Our daughters are half-sisters, they have the same bio mom, and we adopted them a little over four years ago. We love our girls so much, Alyssa is an amazing mommy to them. Since our youngest was a baby when we adopted her, she's pretty well adjusted. Our oldest was six when we adopted her, and she had significant trauma. When we first adopted her, she didn't bond with either of us and had emotional issues. It's been a long journey, but she's doing much better now, and it's been beautiful watching her grow into a happier and more secure child. She adores Alyssa and I think it's in large part because my wife is patient, supports her, and loves her unconditionally. My wife Alyssa and I always wanted kids, but when we started trying in our 30s, she wasn't getting pregnant. We found out there were a lot of issues on her end that were making it hard for us to conceive. Alyssa was devastated at the time, but I took it a lot earlier since I knew there were other options, i.e. adoption. When we started the adoption process, everyone was supportive except for my brother Pat, 38M, and his wife Taylor, 38F. Once, they both sat me down and told me it wasn't fair that I wouldn't get bio kids because of Alyssa. They encouraged me to find a surrogate mother rather than go down the adoption route. I think it's a great option for some people, but having bio kids didn't appeal to me all that much unless it was with Alyssa. I was just as happy to adopt, and I told Pat and Taylor this numerous times. Alyssa and I currently live about 8 hours driving distance from my family. We drove to my hometown yesterday afternoon to celebrate my dad's birthday. At the time, we thought we'd make a weekend trip of it. Last night after all the kids were asleep, my wife, Pat, Taylor, and I were sitting by the fire and having some wine. Alyssa was talking about how hard of a time she's having with our youngest daughter starting kindergarten this year. Alyssa was saying how our youngest is her baby and she's growing up so fast. Out of the blue, Taylor asked if Alyssa thought of our older daughter as her baby as well since she came into our family when she was older and we missed some of her formative years. Alyssa said of course she did. Taylor then said that Alyssa is a great mom, and she feels bad that she never got to experience pregnancy and childbirth. Alyssa said she was sad about that before, but now that she has our girls, she's happy things worked out the way they did because she wouldn't trade either of them for the world. Taylor proceeded to say that the love Alyssa has for our kids is different because she never experienced the bond that comes with carrying a child, giving birth, and knowing that you and your partner created it. Taylor then said the bond you have with your bio kids is hard to explain if you haven't experienced it yourself. She then started talking about how pregnancy is a selfless thing because you're giving your body to another human being and sacrificing so much to bring it into the world. Alyssa kept her cool, but I was fuming. I said that all families are different, and it's incredibly shallow to imply that Alyssa is less of a mother because we adopted our girls. I also said that in my opinion, Alyssa is the most selfless person I know. I said that Alyssa took in two little girls the oldest of whom has significant trauma and has completely devoted her life to giving them the best childhoods possible. I also said that unlike Taylor and Pat, Alyssa doesn't need to know that her kids share the same DNA as her to love them unconditionally. I then proceeded to tell my SIL that I'm sorry she's not capable of that kind of love because based on her comments, it seems as though she wouldn't be able to mother a child who wasn't her own biologically. Taylor started crying and Alyssa said that all families are different and we all love our kids, and I said that Taylor was the one who started the comparison game. We all went to bed, and Taylor left the fire very upset. This morning, my mom pulled me to the side and said Taylor told her I basically said she wasn't as good of a mother as Alyssa. I explained the things Taylor said before I made those comments, and my mom agreed they were completely awful. My mom did say I shouldn't have said that Taylor was less of a mom than Alyssa though because both of them love their kids. I said that I was sticking up for my wife, and that if Taylor is going to make comments about Alyssa's experience with motherhood, I'm going to throw it back at her. My mom thinks I owe Taylor an apology, but I'm not sorry in the slightest. Alyssa told me that Taylor's comments don't bother her because she knows the bond she has with our kids, and said she'd be okay with me apologizing to keep the peace with my brother and SIL. I really don't want to apologize though and honestly am thinking of leaving tonight. Ada?